Uh, he's a very laid back, easy going uh, person. Also, when I went to his house, he said, you know, you can never go to an African's house without eating something or drinking something. And I felt so bad because I know in my household as well, with, you know, at home, my mom is also the, the same. You know, you never go into African's person's house without offering something to, to eat or to drink. And oh, I felt so bad because I actually didn't have time to sit down and, you know, have a cup of coffee with him or just, you know, chat very informally uh, about the magazine, about himself. Um, I had to leave but as I said you know he's very laid back easy going he speaks a very simple English you know I don't think English is his first language I think it's Swahili but for uh, you know man in Tanzania he yeah, as I said you know very going very easy going um, person yeah yeah for a long time I've been saying Africa is poor is poor but that's wrong Africa is a country as a continent it's not poor is the people are poor. So, so instead of uh, saying Africa is poor, Af the African continent is poor, Tanzania is poor, we should stop saying that. We should open the eyes of our people that Africa as a continent is very, very rich. But of course, people are poor. Then we have to, uh, to, uh, to, to try to address why are we poor as a people when the, the continent is so rich? Then, by doing that, you are going to have the, the Africans who have, they will open their eyes and see the opportunities, explore the opportunities, and be rich. You have to ask yourself in this life, whether you are young or old, what do I want to be remembered for in this, after you leave this world? For me, as a businessman, I don't want to be remembered by millions and millions in the bank. I want to rem be remembered by what I did to my fellow people, use my wealth.